In this video, I'm going to talk about a feature within Microsoft Edge named as Collections. So as you see on the top right hand side, you'll see a plus icon. Okay. Uh, so now this is a symbol for collection. So if you click on it, it will open a collections interface. But make sure that before you use the collection interface, you're logged into your uh, Microsoft 365 work or school account or a personal account. <clears throat> now, there is an alternative keyboard shortcut to get into collections. That's Control Shift Y. Okay. So I'll click on collections. And once you open the collection, you will see the collections which you have already created. If you're starting brand new, you won't see anything over here. Okay. You can also pin this collections or pin out. Okay, so I'm just pinning it now. So I'm pinning this collections to my uh, browser interface. Okay, and there are you can close this interface. You can close the collections if you don't want to see it. I'll again go into the collection. I can click on this three dots and I can sort by the name, date created, recently used for all the collections which I have created. Now. <clears throat> What I'll do is like I'll start with a new collection. Now, before we even start with the collection, why do we use a collection? So that's the first basic questions uh, we need to answer. <clears throat> now, the collection is basically a, um, a storage of information for your, say, research activity or for some planning activity or maybe if you're planning for some trip. OK, and now you get a lot of ideas. Now you want to collate these ideas and keep it in one place. So what you're going to do is like, okay, you can click on start a new collection and you'll say, uh, maybe uh, I'll just start with one basic topic, like say visit to uh, California. Okay. So if you're visiting a, a place, you know, and if you want to do some research, then what do you do? How do you do with that? Okay. So maybe if, if you are on, on say maybe Google site, you know, and I'll say uh, <coughs> uh, places to see in California. OK, now once you do the Google search, you will see some sort of uh, uh, like all those information for different places. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, randomly pick up something from here. OK, so there are a couple of websites which I opened. And if I say, OK, uh, <clears throat> these two websites are good for me. OK, let's assume that. Now, what I can do, I can right click and say right click to this tab and I say add <clears throat> this tab add all the tab which is listed over here to this collection okay or any of the collection which i've already created so it will give you a drop down okay or maybe if i don't want to do that what i can do is maybe i can put some text around it okay so uh, i'll say add a note over here okay and i'll say uh, california visit planning Okay, and then I'll just put some notes, but it is dollar two thousand. <clears throat> okay, and I'll just save this. Okay, I can add in another note. I'll say uh, date twenty five July to seven August. Okay, so I can put some date. Uh, I can change the color of this note, you know, or if you want to color code it. So, so this is all the information which I have added it in the system. So this is a note. Okay. So if you see uh, some information, like say Yosemite National Park, and if you want to drag this image, you can drag it like this. Let's close this interface. And I've added this, drag this image. Okay. Now, other thing what you can do, you can, if you like some text, and if you want to store that text, then you can drag this text as well over here. So I'm just dragging this text here, and I've added this text. <clears throat> now you have four objects. You have created two notes, one image, one text, and you can even uh, add this current page, okay? So if, if I see this, uh, this page to be good for me, uh, I can add this by clicking on add a current page click here and this page gets added okay now let me go back okay one level now i can see all the collections which have been created by me if i click on this i go inside the collection and i can review all the contents okay i can even 
uh, move the content up and down based on my preference so if i want to see all the notes above i can drag and drop if i want to see this page at the top i can get it here <coughs> And now let's assume if I want to prepare some documentation around it, what I can do is like I can uh, click on this three meatball icon and I can send this to Word. Okay, if I want to collate all this information in Word, I can click on say send to Word and it will create a Word document. Okay, uh, and then within that Word document, it will store all this text, images. Uh, references, links, all those sort of information. And uh, I can then publish this document, okay? Now, where does this document get stored? So technically it gets stored in a OneDrive. So if I'm in my OneDrive, uh, and if I go to my files, here you'll see one folder in your OneDrive called as Microsoft Edge Collections. And within this Microsoft Edge Collections, you will see uh, the document which you have recently created called as visit to California to docx. Okay. Similarly, you can send this information to Excel. You can send this information to <clears throat> OneNote. Okay. Uh, now uh, I'll just close this one drive and take, for example, if you have just opened like a couple of, you know, like I'll just click on random pages. Okay. Now, if you have three or four tabs, which you have already uh, opened and then you did all your research, now, if you want to uh, add all this tab, you can do a right click and say add all tab to collections and you select the current collection, click on it and all the tabs get added. So this is a pretty handy way to organize your information when you're doing a research, when you're uh, about to make a purchase or uh, if you have some ideas to explore. So uh, these, this will help us uh, in uh, organizing this information and uh, will allow us to retrieve this information when we want them back, okay? So that you don't get lost in uh, all those uh, browser tabs which you have opened while exploring this information. So that's it folks. Uh, thanks for watching uh, <clears throat> the collections video for Microsoft Edge. I'll come, some more, come with some more information in my upcoming videos. Thank you.